Good morning on this Thursday. Today I'm actually at the what's called the Ambry, which is the cabinet where the holy oils are kept. And in church you don't see this because it's behind the wall where the tabernacle is now, and you can see kind of behind me now where the church is. And so I thought I'd come here and we'll pray morning prayer here. So this is morning prayer for Thursday of the 12th week in Ordinary Time. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O God of light, the dawning day gives us new promise of your love. Each fresh beginning is your gift, like gentle dew from heaven above. Your blessings, Father, never fail. Your Son, who is our daily bread, the Holy Spirit of your love, by whom each day your sons are led. Make us the servants of your peace, renew our strength, remove all fear. Be with us, Lord, throughout this day, for all is joy, if you are near. To Father, Son, and Spirit blessed, one only God, we humbly pray, show us the splendor of your light in death the dawn a perfect day. At daybreak, be merciful to me, O Lord. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful. You are just. Give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness, like the dead long forgotten. Therefore, my spirit fails, my heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past, I ponder all your works, I muse on what your hand has wrought, and to you I stretch out my hands, like a parched land my soul thirsts for you. Lord. Make haste and answer, for my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning, let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk. To you I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, for my, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. At daybreak, be merciful to me, O Lord. The Lord will make a river of peace flow through Jerusalem. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her, all you who love her. Exult, exult with her, all you who are mourning over her. O that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breasts. 
For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings you shall be carried in her arms, and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her son, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bodies flourish like the grass. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord will make a river of peace flow through Jerusalem. Let us joyfully praise the Lord our God. Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sing to our God, for he is loving. To him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord, give thanks. Sing psalms to our God with the harp. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares the rain for the earth, making mountains sprout with grass and with plants to serve man's needs. He provides the beasts with their food and young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in horses nor his pleasure in warrior strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us joyfully praise the Lord our God. The sufferings of the present are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed in us. Indeed, the whole created world eagerly awaits the revelation of the sons of God. Creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but by him who once subjected it. Yet not without hope, because the world itself will be freed from its slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. In the early hours of the morning, I think of you, O Lord. In the early hours of the morning, I think of you, O Lord. Always you are there to help me. I think of you, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the early hours of the morning, I think of you, O Lord. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Let us pray to God 
who gives salvation to his people. You are our life, O Lord. Blessed are you, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for by your mercy we have been reborn to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. You are our life, O Lord. You made man in your image and renewed him in Christ. Mold us into the likeness of your Son. You are our life, O Lord. Pour out your love through the Holy Spirit. Heal our hearts, wounded by hatred and jealousy. You are our life, O Lord. Today, grant work to laborers, bread to the hungry, joy to the sorrowful, grace and redemption to all men. You are our life, O Lord. And we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, let the knowledge of salvation enlighten our hearts, so that freed from fear and from the power of our enemies, we may serve you faithfully all the days of our life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.